brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Food for thought, check credentials. You should be very careful when someone comes in requesting uh, for purchases of fun pl uh, fundraising plates. Please get their name, the telephone number, and see an ID. Terry Bloss should know. She's the operating manager of Island Cuisine, a local catering company owned by her son, Jason, better known as JB. JB has been getting calls say, um, from customers saying that they haven't received their plates and they already paid for them. These posts have since gone viral on social media sites. A man going by the name of Raymond Perez is giving a fake story about raising funds for a sick relative. Here's a customer receipt. $8 for a, quote, facetta plate. The lunch plates he reportedly told victims were to be delivered by Island Cuisine. It really upsets me. Bloss tells KUAM they haven't done fundraising events for the past two years. So please, if we can get the word out, whoever comes in your door, knocks on your door, asking for help and using Island Cuisine for fundraising, medical or whatsoever, Please get the information and just report it to one police. Even when they did, however, customers would see supporting documentation. We have a letterhead supporting the fundraising and that we are going to be the ones to be, um, how do you say, preparing for them. Though Island famous for their barbecue meats and fried chicken, she doesn't want this to ruin her son's business. It's his bread and butter. We are such a small company. We started out as a kitchen here only for the window. And then I guess the word got out and we started catering. JB tells KUAM he's received about a dozen calls with similar reports. While he plans to file a complaint with the Guam Police Department, he wants to first warn others about the potential scam. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.